ChatGPT tutorial for beginners. In this tutorial, if you don't know anything about ChatGPT, we're gonna go from zero to not so bad. ChatGPT is basically like a genie. You can ask it anything you want. And if you ask it specifically right questions, it'll give you mind blowing answers that you will be like, what the heck? It can do anything from giving you relationship advice to planning your day effectively and even write full on code for you and build apps for you. I'm gonna walk you through all of these things step by step in a way that nobody's done on the internet. I hope you're excited. Smash the like button. Let's get straight into it. All right, so let's start off with something really simple and kind of funny. Let's say my girlfriend is breaking up with me. What should I do? I'm gonna ask ChatGPT3 that. Let's see what it says. My girlfriend is breaking up with me. What should I do? I'm sorry to hear that you're going through a tough time. Breakups can be difficult and it's natural to feel upset, confused, and even angry. And it's now giving me suggestions on how to cope with that loss. And it's actually giving me, it's, it says, hey, crying and talking to a friend is absolutely okay. Number two, stay positive. It can be hard. Try to focus on the good things. Three, stay busy and active. Four, seek support and active help. So that's kind of cool. But let's say that we want something more specific. Could have just copied this advice from online. So let's see if we can get it to give us something more specific. I'm going to ask for it to give me a recommendation for my girlfriend. Okay, what should I get her? Give me ideas for gifts to get for my girlfriend for her birthday. Okay, and now I'm going to give it a couple of bullet points. She is very empathetic and loving. She has a bulldog, a bunny, and two cats. She loves pets. She is a pro boxer. She loves boxing and a bunch of other things. Okay, but I'm just going to give it this and I'm just going to hit enter. Here are a few gift ideas that might suit your girlfriend's interest and personality. A personalized gift for her pets, like custom pet food bowls or pet portrait. That would be a good one. Like portraits, I know she will actually love gift certificate for a couple's massage or a spa day she's an athlete so for her to relax and rejuvenate is actually helpful a new boxing glove or training equipment to support her passion for boxing i really like that idea as well a personalized piece of jewelry this one is kind of generic i feel like i don't really like that one a gift card to a bookstore or online bookstore for her to choose some new books to read i don't know where it got that from i literally said nothing about books so sometimes some things they'll say are funny or generic but you can notice that there are a bunch of things that are very very specific and interesting towards her. Now let's take it a little bit further and let's do a couple of more things. I'm gonna ask it to write me a poem for my girlfriend. Now write a five line poem for my girlfriend and let's see if it can actually do that. Oh, that's not good. So we're gonna say, but make it specific to her. So let's see if it can figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna copy this here and say this. Usually it remembers this. Write a poem about my girlfriend and let's see if we can figure that out. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool. My love, you are a shining light, so empathetic and loving, a heart so pure and bright. Your love for your pets knows no bounds. Your bulldog, bunny, and two cats all feel your love resound. Your passion for boxing, it shines through, strong and determined, a fighter through and through. You inspire me every day. In everything you do, you find a way. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. My love for you cuts like a knife. You are my everything, my reason for being. Forever yours, my love, my darling queen. Oh, I'm gonna actually send that to her right now. So I'm gonna go and paste it in. And I won't give her any context. Let's just see what she says, okay? All right, now I wanna give you another example different from relationship advice. So planning your days. This is something I use it for often because there are a lot of times where I'm confused what to do with my day. Specifically yesterday, I was frustrated. And so I wanna help you out with this. Let's just say you want to code. Help me plan my day. Here are the things I want to do. I want to code for two hours. I want to play music for one hour. I want to be able to watch YouTube or a show for 30 minutes. Now, here are the things, things I need to do. You could do it in whatever format you want. It's very smart. I'm just literally coming off the cuff for you. 8 a.m. to let's say 5 p.m. work, 7 a.m. wake up, sleep at 10 p.m. laundry, and you don't need to give it a time. You could just say laundry for 30 minutes. Based on this, let's see what it gives you. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. Here's a possible schedule for your day. 7 a.m. wake up, 7.30 breakfast, 8 leave for work, 5 return from work, 
do laundry for 30 minutes at 5 30 6 p.m code for two hours 8 p.m play music for one hour 9 p.m watch a youtube or a show for 30 minutes and 10 p.m sleep holy crap how epic is that actually i just realized i should be using this literally every day to plan my day i'm like using manual stuff to plan my day every day in the morning and i i just kind of realized off of this that i should be using this every day and you can tell it other things too like let's say i wanted to wake up at 5 a.m can you create an alternative schedule for me based on that okay let's see if it can actually do that certainly here's an alternative schedule for you based on waking up at 5 a.m oh my god this is amazing this is so cool eat breakfast yes code for two hours so until 8 a.m i mean this here kind of got a little tripped up as you could see code for two hours until 8 a.m but then how come i'm getting ready for work at 6 30 a.m that doesn't make sense all right leave for work return from work do laundry play music for one hour watch youtube relax and unwind eat dinner sleep it even added in like relax and unwind eat dinner and sleep i mean my god this schedule allows you to accomplish your goals of coding and playing music earlier in the day while still leaving time for work self-care and relaxation in the evening please use that i really believe being able to schedule your days your work days your play time or relaxation time is very important usually planning your day oftentimes can be a logistical nightmare and it just planned it so easily Easily. just tell it what you want to be able to do this is what i recommend and then the things you need to do and then just throw it at it and let it figure it out now the next one is writing empathetic letters or giving strong or emotional feedback to somebody a lot of us sometimes have trouble conveying something to somebody else how many times have you sent somebody a message and they got upset or frustrated or were like why would you talk to me this way or maybe you sent the message and you were like damn why did i respond so emotionally or angrily and it possibly burned a relationship or almost burned a relationship and sometimes there are really difficult messages you need to communicate where you need to hold somebody accountable but you don't want to come off as too aggressive or too harsh so i'm going to show you an example of that so let's say you want to write a message to your friend but this friend has been disappointing you quite a bit they're failing to show up they didn't show up to the workout they didn't show up to your marathon I'm actually thinking of somebody very specific right now, one of my friends on my team. So let's just say that you were doing a marathon and you invited this friend and this friend decided not to show up. Let's say that you went to work out and you asked this friend to come through. This friend agreed, but then decided not to show up. Let's say that you asked this friend, hey, let's go out to a movie. They agreed and then decided not to show up last minute. And it's starting to make you feel some type of way. We wanna communicate that to that friend. Let's use the AI's help to craft a message that could empathetically, yet with a firm tone, communicate what we need. So let's go ahead and do do that write a message to my friend gerard use a empathetic yet firm tone and write it with lots of love okay, so you can you can tell it like pretty casually like that too you don't need to be like using perfect english like use an empathetic tone and firm firm stuff like you can you can write it normally okay so i'm gonna say write a message to my friend gerard use the empathetic yet firm tone and write it with lots of love now we're gonna write this message and, and here's what i i'm gonna give it a couple of bullet points i asked him to come to my marathon he agreed last minute decided not to show up that made me feel very sad and alone made me feel like i can't trust him or rely on him or count on him when it really matters. These messages oftentimes are really hard for you to make and send to somebody. So oftentimes we won't have these hard conversations with other people. As a result, you will continue to have these eroding relationships. You'll continue to be less and less vulnerable and open to the world. And so if you can use AI to help you craft these messages, that is amazing. Let's tell it a few other bullet points as well. Gerard also agreed to come work out with me, but then he decided to show up very late. And because of that, my gym, was closed and we were not able to get a workout in so maybe let's give it these two specific situations and then you know any other bullet points that you might be feeling i am feeling angry at him i am afraid of losing him as a friend because he's been such a wonderful friend to me my whole life now let's just hit enter and let's see what it gives us dear gerard i hope this message finds you well okay it's really professional i wanted to talk to you about something that's been on my mind i was really hurt and disappointed when you didn't come to my marathon like you said you would it made me feel really alone and sad and made me question whether i can trust you or rely on you and it really matters i was also really frustrated when you showed up late to our workout and we missed our chance to train together i know you're busy but it's important to me that we make time for each other and keep our commitments 
I love how it expresses emotions. And then it has this firm tone as well. And it's saying it's important to me that when we make time for each other, we keep our commitments. I understand if you're feeling overwhelmed or have a lot going on, a lot of empathy here, but I hope you can understand how your actions have affected me. I value our friendship so much and I don't want to lose it. But at the same time, I need to be able to trust and rely on you. I hope we can talk about this and find a way to move forward. I'm here for you and I love you always. Wow. That is mind blowing, such a well-crafted message. Now let's just say, make it sound like a text message, less formal, more like I'm messaging a friend. Okay, let's just say, say that and hit enter. So now I'm just gonna make the tone a little bit less professional. Hey Gerard, so you could say, yo Gerard, you know, yo bro. Like you could start it off however you want to keep it you know, add a little bit of your own tone in it. And you could ask it other things too, like, hey, add a joke in here, you know, add one joke in here or add some sarcasm in here. But probably this is not the place to add jokes or sarcasms. That is such an adult move to go through this really hard situation that my friend went through. And I know that he felt some type of way and he really felt let down from his friends. And so I know it was like a really, really hard experience for him. And this message is really hard to communicate sometimes by yourself to come up with. But this has come up for you with the idea, right? With the message. So now it's much easier for my friend to send this message to Gerard, maybe tweak a few things here and there, but like, look, it even has such a mature message here. Hey, can we talk about this and find a way to move forward? Might be something amazing to do. If you're watching this, you should probably do it. <laughs> All right. Ho hope that was valuable for you. Let's go on to the next one now. Now, another thing that I really like using it for is summarizing articles or podcasts or anything that I'm hearing. And I don't want to actually spend a lot of time consuming it. I want to just grab the most important piece of information from it, you can use chat GPT to summarize that information for you. So let's say that I go and uh, top five programming languages, and let's just see if we can find a blog post on it. 10 best programming languages. I mean, you can't copy sometimes like way too much text, but let's see. Summarize this for me in three sentences. Okay, so that was like too long. So if you give it something too long, it won't be able to do it, but let's give it something a little bit smaller. Let's copy that. Let's come back in here and just hit refresh. If it keeps bugging out like this, just hit refresh, you should be fine. Give me top five takeaways from this. Python is a high level general purpose programming language. Okay. It is a popular choice among developers. Python is open source and easy to learn. Makes it a good starting point for demand for Python developers is high and growing. Python is popular and widely used according to the Toby index. So now I didn't have to read that. And I got essentially it's summary in these five takeaway points. And you could do that with your meetings. Let's say you get off a zoom meeting with your team or whatever, and you guys just talked about a whole bunch of stuff. You could ask it, Hey, summarize this in top 10 takeaways or top five takeaways and then email the notes to everybody on the team or just text the notes to everybody on the team. So people can use it to summarize. You can use it to summarize. Even if you're not there, you could use it to summarize what was said and understand at a high level. Now, obviously don't just blindly trust what it spits at you. You can verify, but it does spit stuff at you with a pretty high accuracy. So most of the times you can trust the majority of the things that it says. Now I'm going to show you how to use it to come up with ideas, whether it's you want to come up with coding ideas or video ideas or blog post ideas or whatever that that may be. So let's say you, you go, I am a beginner in JavaScript with only one month of experience. Uh, give me some suggestions for coding projects. Or let's say, give me, you know, you could say, give me five suggestions or four suggestions, whatever. Let's just hit enter and let's see what it does now. <laughs> wow. It even congratulates me. Thank you. Congratulations. on starting to learn JavaScript. Here are a few projects that ideas that might be suitable for a beginner with one month of experience. It's telling me build a simple to-do list app, create a basic calculator, design a simple form for collecting user information. These are great ideas because for beginners, there's not much you can actually do with such little experience. And it's giving you the exact things that you're actually able to do because when you look up online, it gives you so much garbage that's like you can't do with one month of experience. And so generate random quotes and display it. You can definitely do select a random quote from the array and display it on the page. Then you could even probably take this idea. So let's say we pick project four. I'll do project idea number four. Can you give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to, how I should do it without giving me the solution or the code. Okay, now let's see what it says. Certainly, here are some step-by-step -step instructions for creating a program that generates random quotes. It even understood that I was talking about number four. And now it's giving me some instructions here. Create an array of quotes. You can do this by declaring a variable and assigning it to an array of strings. For example, the following, write a function that selects a random quote from the array. You can use the math. These are amazing 
instructions. So you can now use this get random quote to pick a quote out of here, create a button or other elements the user can click to generate a new quote. You can do this by adding an HTML element to your page and giving it an ID attribute. For example, yes, you can. This is wonderful. So just do this, create the button. So now you'll have an HTML button on your screen. And step four, it's telling you how to add an event listener so that you can start to connect your button to your app. And it goes, I hope these instructions give you a good starting point for your project. Remember to break the problem down into smaller steps and take it one step at a time. What's brilliant is if you asked me to give you the starting steps for this, it would have taken me an hour or two hours or like a, a lot of focus to come up with specific starting instructions, not to give you too much so I don't give away the code, but also not to give you too little so you're left stranded. This gave you just enough to have a starting point and then you could probably even ask it more things and it could do that for you. Now, how can you come up with ideas for videos or other things, right? When I'm coming up with titles, let's say I'm coming up with the title on, um, you know, let's say for this tutorial, chat GPT tutorial for beginners, give me 10 alternative titles for that. So let's see if it can give me in a different titles for it. An introduction to chat G, uh, to GPT, a beginner's guide. Yep. GPT 101, a beginner's tutorial, getting started with GPT, a beginner's guide. GPT for beginners. That's a good one, actually. Step-by-step -step tutorial, a beginner's guide to GPT, how to get started, learning GPT, a beginner's guide, a beginner's guide to getting started, mastering GPT, a beginner's tutorial. That one is kind of a paradox, but yes, you can understand how quickly you can start to do these types of things. And then you can tell it to change tones as well if you needed to make the answers or titles more gritty, make them funny, make them whatever, and it could do them. So let's just try it. Make the titles funny. I don't know how I'll do that, but it could probably come up with something. GPT for dummies, a guy, a how to guide for absolute beginners. Nice. GPT for newbies, a guide to conquering the learning curve. GPT for the GPT curious, a beginner's guide to getting your feet wet. So you can see now it's starting to come up with really nice titles. And let's say there's a particular title that you really like. So let's say I really like a guide to avoiding total and complete failure for the GPT phobic, a beginner's guide to overcoming your fears. It's funny. So now let's say we really like number one. So I could say, give me five more ideas like number one. And I'd be like, sure, I'll give you more ideas like this one. I think it understood what I meant. Or you can just go like this me five more ideas and use the word dummies so now it can give you five more like this and still remember to use the word dummies in there so then you could take your idea and then start to refine it and then come up with really the best one and then pick that and more generally so let's say you're like hey i want to start um i want to start a channel on youtube to teach people how to code give me five specific video ideas slash titles and hit enter and it could actually even come up with video ideas and titles for you if you're completely lost or you can even give it a specific direction you can be like okay so let's say i'm reading this and i'm like i like the direction it's taking with how to set up a development environment for coding give me 10 specific video ideas around this main idea so let's see if it can give you around that topic give you specific ideas so there we go how to set up your local environment with visual studio code setting up local environment for php getting started with the clips for Java development and now starting to go and tree branch into different ideas. And then you can go from there and start picking apart. So it is a wonderful tool that is very useful for generating ideas for videos or for coding projects or anything that you want to do in any industry. I'm just giving you coding specific examples. Take them, make them specific to your own industry. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out my code, link is in the description. Click that, play with it, tweak it, do whatever you want. I hope you got value. Smash the like button. Peace.